Hi everyone, my name is Alicia from Better Than Your Mama's Cooking and today I'm going to be sharing with you some new information about Biratella's new packaging. When purchasing Biratella's, I want you to use your best judgment. Here is your guide for when Biratella's dough is ready to be used. Are there any bubbles in your dough? If not, then this is most likely a very fresh dough. You're going to want to let this sit out on your countertop until it comes to room temperature. Are you noticing that your dough is swollen and full of air bubbles? Buy it from your local grocery store and use very soon. If you've already purchased it and it's been sitting in your fridge, this is your sign to start baking it. Most dough is put onto the supermarket shelves with a six week expiration. Always check the dates so you know where in the life of the dough you are starting at. It could be on the supermarket shelves for a few weeks before you even purchase it. Newer doesn't always mean better. It just means that it can sit in your fridge a little bit longer. Closer to the expiration date is actually better in Biratella's case. The colder your refrigerator is, matters. If you don't open your refrigerator that often, chances are your dough is going to last a lot longer. If you have kids in and out of the fridge all day long, your dough might not last as long. And if your refrigerator is lightly used and your dough starts to swell up a lot, then maybe it's time for a new refrigerator. Who knew that pizza dough could be the best thermometer? Now let's talk weather. The warmer and more humid it is, the faster your dough will be ready to use. The colder it is outside, chances are your dough is gonna take a little bit longer to be ready to be used. And lastly, what temperature should I bake my dough at? Let's start at 450 degrees. The hotter the oven, the better. I hope this guide has helped you. Now let's start making some pizza. 